Hey everybody, AmpreparaGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Today we are working on a Heathkit HL-2200. So, I got a lot of amps here. More in boxes, just all over the place. So, I'm going to take the covers off and I'll show the inside. And uh, I'll go from there. See you soon. Alright, so someone really got this thing all sorts of messed up. They had a relay in here. Uh, when I switched over to 120, you turn it on, high voltage would come up to the CW voltage level, no fan would turn on, put it on SSB, would come up to the SSB level, then fan would turn on, no filament voltage, relay wasn't engaging. They put a fuse in series with the center tap. They did not do the self bias mod, still has the force bias, so I'll undo that, redo that. So I'm going to redo all this. Uh, they grounded the grids, did a horrible job. I'll ground the grids the right way. So, it's a real mess. I'll change the electrolytic. Be right back. I'm going to flip it over, show the other side. So I figured out what's going on, what's causing that weird issue. You got a problem with the filament transformer, so I'm going to pull it out and replace it. I disconnected all of the primary connections. Now it turns on off no problem with everything wired back how it should be wired. Uh, with it still connected, I saw that weird problem with the, the voltage uh, with it off coming, the plate coming up halfway, a fan not turning on at that point. I had to go to turn it on, the voltage would stay up halfway, a fan would turn on, no voltage coming off the second of the filament transformer. So I'm going to pull that out, replace it, and uh, go from there. See you soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Rare HL2200. Just so people know, this is not the output rating to kilowatts. Kilowatt. The, uh, that's the input rating from the line. In these older amps, in the manual, they have ratings for the input power, not the output power. So this is a nice amp. It has a few marks here. And they are just little things. Very rare. These meters do not have lights in them. He's lucky the plate curtain meter is okay because I don't think he'd be able to find one. So I'll show you everything I did. New Harbach metering board. Series glitch resistor. Tighten up all the nuts here. Zip tied everything. Has a Harbach filter cap board. New parasitic suppressors. New band switch. New Plate blocking cap, new air variable on the plate side. I cleaned the rotary switches with deoxic gold. Fan operates as it should. Okay, I'll flip it over and show you the bottom. I also got rid of the series glitch resistor over here, put the choke back in. I also always tighten up on this inner nut right there. So, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so here's the bottom. Bias mod. Secured the wires going to the TR relay. This has a stock standby operate switch. Don't want any stress on the relay coil connections. That's why I do that. Change the electrolytic cap up here. Change the diode right there. Touched up on solder joints. Wire for T20. Zip tied everything. Fixed the wiring. Grounded the grids. Change the SO239 connectors. They have like no grip whatsoever. What else did I do? That's about it. So, this was already here, that piece of Teflon coax. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203. 892-4119 that's 203-892-4119 and my website is amprepairguy.com I also removed that that uh, soft key it was a different brand he says he already has the Ameritron box so I've seen where that has failed and it puts a short on the winding and the filament transformer and it smokes the winding so so that's about it thanks for watching have a great day. 70